Oh, a couple of cars well, I actually picked up straight away that I forgot to put the little blood knot on my leader knife. So I just, then I, then I realised I've got no leader. So I thought I'll start at the beginning. First of all, I'm using a TMK Cicada with a two drop shot hook set up in it. And the whole idea of this is it's very much like the rigid ice jig hook set. But because they can move, if one pins, the other pins, it's not pressure against each other, they'll hold. So that's the rig, 20 pound leader and a poor leader knot and I didn't bring any other leader line with me I only got a short little bit of it that's all you need now I'm using a, a, a Storm uh, Mojo most beautiful little casting rod and uh, an Akuma reel with 20 pound Shimano braid on it now this rod here has got little tiny micro guides so not many knots will work and I need a strong knot so once I started using the micro guides I realised I, I had to have I'm so blind I went I missed the hole once I started using micro guides I realised I had to have a, a leader knot that was a single knot not one knot to another knot so this is how I've done it or well, this is what I come up with I just bend the nylon around like that I thread that straight through there I'm right here, so I start, in, I start that with my left hand. And I pinch all three. I do one full loop around both lines, the main line and the, the tag. And then one just around the main line. And then another five around both. One, two, three, four, five. Then I pinch it again with my left hand. And I just basically wind back. So I keep going around the same way, but I just wind back across all those threads. I work my way up. And that's where the line comes through the loop. So that's where we come back through the loop. As simple as that, wind it down, wind it back. I just pull it tight, pull it together. Get really tight. Just stretch this bit of nylon, get it up, and then you have the knot. Now what happened with my last knot, I forgot to do this on the top. Just get the braid, and just, just a blood knot over it, and that stops that from unravelling. That's the knot. Now, the important things with the trimming, I actually got razor I find better because my eyesight's bad and I don't look after this as well so I just put that down there cut that off make sure I haven't cut the whole lot This is the important one. The bit that goes through the micro guide on the nylon goes up the guides, so we can't have a tag on this at all. So that's why I use a razor instead of scissors because I want to get right down there as close as I can and chop. And the whole idea of this knot is is no slippage. So it doesn't matter how small the knot is, if it won't slip a fraction. I can keep a little knot and super strong and that will go through my micro guys. That's how we, or how I do it. You know, I'm rigged to roll now.